Halloween heartthrob. If I look a little red or anything like that, it's really, really hot today, and I keep getting hiccups, so it hurts, and my face gets flushed because of it. So, moving on from that, uh, I went to Toys R Us today, and in my location, they were having an added 10% uh, off of their already sale items. Um, and uh, it's exclusive to certain things in certain places, and it was today only, but I highly doubt that. Um, I am, like, slowly waiting uh, to be able to purchase more things. This is probably the last thing I'm going to buy until uh, we get back from our vacation. The only reason why I bought this is because I got um, money from a commission. Not like I need to explain to you what I do with my money. But you get it. Uh, <clears throat> but I bought one thing that I've been really wanting for a long time. You see that? Little Marvel thing? Uh, there's still other ones that I'd like to purchase in this collection, but it is... The Black Widow Doll! Now they have Iron Man, Captain America, Spider-Gwen, and Black Panther. Black Panther, Iron Man, are... Ins okay, all of them. I think the one that I want the least is Captain America, but I've never been a huge fan of Captain America. But this uh, Black Widow was the last one, um, and I think I'm going to take her out of box because her box is a little bit damaged. But I'm going to do it in such a way where I don't damage the box more, and I'll very lightly cut her out. Uh, in fact, it looks like she's held together by twist ties, so that's even better. So I'll be able to display her and then put her back in the box, um, just as I had her before, because, uh, her box is a bit damaged here and there. Um, plus we're gonna move soon, so I just, I don't want to, uh, damage it. And plus when we move, I'll be able to put her back in the box. So let's get this puppy open. So what is it doing? I want to talk a little bit about uh, the awesome pricing of Toys R Us and how to sell. Uh, it was originally $29.99 and it was on sale uh, for 3% off and it looks like I'm going to But that's just about how I know I'm getting $3.99. Uh, okay, so I got her out and I paid... Her original price was uh, $49.99, um, so about $50 bucks, uh, with, uh, with tax. And I got her on sale 30% off plus 10% off because she was um, considered an action figure. Uh, and I got her for $34, so I, I spent $35 instead of $50, uh, which is amazing in my mind. <laughs> These things have rubber banded, so I'm not going to be able to save them, which is okay. Uh, uh yeah, these are her stand pieces. And, um, ooh. There goes the rest of her stand. Yeah, it's a saddle stand. Ah, poop. <laughs> and slide that on in. Maybe? Yes? No? Looks like it has a rounded piece. Or they just unwork it doesn't. Okay. They're trying to push. Maybe? Instructions. Yeah, it says to push down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you just need a little fork. I think what I'm gonna do for the uh, stand like when I put her away to bring her with me, um, I'm probably just going to place it inside and uh, just kind of let it loose instead of disassembling it and then rubber banding it back on. If I were to ever sell her, then maybe, just so somebody could have the experience of opening her like I did. And this tape, I'm going to leave the tape on the back because um, these little tab pieces are holding the plastic that's keeping her forward. I can hear you guys yelling, SHUT UP AND OPEN HER! Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm going to go to
All right, and she's free with minimal damage to the packaging. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back in there for later. Um, kind of disappointed that there's no, like, certificate or anything. Um, I just thought that something like this and that though is this expensive would have like a certificate or something even if it's not like one of whatever but here's the box design I didn't show you guys that before I just ripped her open these are the other girls you can get she's like 70 bucks and the rest of them are 50 um, but she has a lot more accessories than the rest um, so we have Black Panther, Spider, uh, Spidey Gwen or Spider Gwen uh, Captain America and Iron Man. These, I want all of them. <laughs> they only had one Captain America left too, but I just didn't want to spend that much money. Um, and these are the images or references uh, for the uh, fangirl. It's just supposed to be like a real big fangirl of um, a Marvel. Which, if you ask me, that's a really, really uh, intense man girl. I don't, I'm not gonna take out her, uh, thread for her hair, I don't think. But, yeah, I'm not gonna remove her hat. But, here she is. Her fabric is very nice. Her outfit's very nicely made. It's sewn onto her. Oh no, you can, there's like little snaps that you can unsnap her dress. That's cool, and they're all throughout the front of her dress, because I was like, oh, she's sewn into it, but nope. But her belt's able to remove with a teeny tiny piece of Velcro. So it's like a full dress with a big cowl. Um, her hair is really long and red with some red thread and a tiny little uh, pill. I think they're called like pillbox hats or something with a tiny veil. Her face is absolutely gorgeous. Um, she looks, her neck's really, really skinny. But I think it kind of works in this scenario. Plus her hair and her, um, like, little collar just covers it. Uh, articulation is pretty good. Um, not, like, made to move good, just, uh, pre-made pre to move. But she has... Shoulders, elbow, wrist, um, and butt, or hip, sorry, and knee. These are her knee joints. And these are her shoes. Look at those. They're so pretty, and they're, they're really thick, too. Um, and they look more, to me, they look more believable as an actual shoe than some of, like, the Barbie stuff. And she also is wearing a uh, pantyhose. Let's see what she looks like on her saddle stand. Blah. I don't even know if her super tight dress will allow for that. Oh, and it gives her a weird... Ooh. There we go. Okay, so you can't really tell, but there's kind of a lump where the saddle stand is. I don't like saddle stands! Ugh, it's giving me Ace Ventura vibes. Here she is. She is gorgeous. I love her very, very much. She's got very delicate hands. I love these hand sculpt. Sculpts? Sculpting? One thing I just kind of want to interject. Um, she's really tall. Uh, I have- this is a Monster High boy that I'm working on. So I'll just cover him up. He's got molded on underwear, but... So, this is him standing on her stand. Oh, there you go. She's really tall. Here is a... Uh, kind of like a Ken doll, in a way. Also on her stand. She's taller than, uh, than others, and he's taller than Barbie, so... Just to give you a little reference, uh, she's super tall. Yay, tall people! I'm a tall person. I think the only thing else is that, um, this, like, big poofy bit. 
Oh, there's some, there's some tech down. There we go. I really love it. It's very Adams Family-esque. And 10 out of 10, definitely going to go back and buy some more of these dolls. I think the next one I'm going to get is Iron Man. Um, and then after that, I'll probably get uh, Black Panther, because those are the three I really wanted. Spider-Gwen is cute, because I like Spider-Gwen, and I love the the pink and light blue, white and black color scheme. And Captain America is a really pretty doll, but if I don't get her, then... Oh well! <laughs> but I wanted to do this really quick box opening, because I just... I was super excited to get her for so cheap. I honestly thought that I wasn't going to get them, so I just kind of gave up on it. And then my Toys R Us finally, finally got them. It took them until they were closing to bring out their good stuff. Like, come on. Ugh, that's probably why they're shutting down, is they all hoard all the good stuff in the back. Make us buy all the crap first, which takes forever. It's a gnat. I didn't get it. Anyways. Thank you so much for watching, like, share, and subscribe, comments are always welcome, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!